Welcome, everybody. We're so delighted to have you with us on LifeWave Now tonight. It's an exciting night. As all of you know, we are going to be talking with David Schmidt, our beloved leader and the most amazing inventor in the world, as far as most of us are concerned. And it's not easy to get David's time these days. So we want to let you know right up front, we may run a little bit longer than usual. As long as the discussion is, is rolling along, we will keep chatting with David. And if you have to go, don't worry because you'll be getting a video tomorrow. You'll be getting a link to this whole thing. It's recorded. So you'll be able to use it to share with others and for whatever purposes you may want. So right now, let me see if my co-host, Jim Caldwell, is here. Are you there? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm, I'm, I'm listening uh, to your every word. Uh, welcome, everyone. It's mm -hmm. great to have you on board. You know, uh, before we just came on, uh, uh, we had north of uh, 1,400 registrants for this particular webinar. So that's a, that's a terrific uh, amount of folks that want to jump on and see what's going on as, as of course, all 1400 usually don't show up. However, uh, in this particular broadcast tonight, we're limited to a thousand folks. So sure hope you all get in. And like Paula just said, in the next day or two, we'll definitely uh, have this recording, put it up on YouTube in the uh, LifeWave section where it says LifeWave now. So you'll be able to, folks that miss, if they can't get in, and certainly as you share this out with others, you'll be sure to wanna uh, let them uh, experience uh, what, what this is going to be. And uh, Paula, look, you know, I must tell you folks, the feedback that we get from the field on Paula Shaw and, and her role and the, and the energy she's, she's bringing to this, uh, this broadcast and to what we're doing as we communicate and build community has been terrific. So Paula, I'm going to hand it back to you. Uh, let's, let's go for it. Have some fun because it's time. I think we need to bring David Schmidt on, but you have some words, I think you'd like to throw out there first. I do. I just want to give our viewers a little bit of insight into this man because like you, Jim, I've been lucky enough to know him personally and to get to interview him several times on my radio show. Yeah. And I think a lot of people don't realize David Schmidt is not just a genius inventor. He's not the man who's created this product line that we're all in love with. He's a really beautiful human being. He is a good guy. He is a generous guy. Yes, he went to Pace University and he has degrees in biology and, and information management systems. And he's, he's got all of those credentials. But I think the most important thing that we hope you will see as we interview David tonight is that David Schmidt is not just our leader. He's our guy. He's a really great guy. Come and join us, David. I know I'm probably embarrassing you to death, but please join us. <laughs> a, a little bit. I was going to maybe not start my video and uh, just do it as under the <laughs> black curtain there. So and, that, was, that was very nice, Paula. Thank you very much. And Happy New Year to you, uh, by the way. Thank you. And to you and to everybody, by the way. New it's Year, right. New Decade. What an exciting time. And I think it's going to be a history-making decade for this company, for sure. So <clears throat> before we uh, get into anything else, David, I want to give you a little heads up. I've uh, talked to several people who are watching tonight. Many people really actually want to use this interview as, as something to share with others who might be interested in the company because you are a super important part of this company. So I want to take a, a cue from Julie Andrews' playbook and say, let's start at the very beginning. <laughs> well, I love Julie Andrews and, uh, you know, Sound of Music is one of uh, my, my favorite movies of all time. So you, you picked a good one. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> so here's my burning question, David. What kind of a kid were you? Were you a nerd like Bill Gates? Were you kind of an oddball like Einstein? Were you the kid who was setting off rockets in the backyard? What were you like? I was a little bit of all of those things. I was a nerd. I was an oddball. I was setting off rockets in my backyard. Uh, my best friend and I, as a matter of fact, 
we used to uh, love to build rockets, and then a couple of times we shot them at our neighbors' houses, uh, <laughs> which uh, didn't make our parents uh, too happy. But yeah, you know, we were we were building rockets all the time, doing experiments, taking things apart. We would go into our parents. Uh, workshops and uh, take power tools and ovens and things like that and take them apart <laughs> and try to see if we can get them back together again. Uh, and uh, one year, uh, my, my brother got a uh, video game. Uh, back then, it was, you know, very uh, simple electronics, and it was those Pong uh, video games. And uh, I remember taking the, that apart and trying to figure out how the circuitry worked. So, yeah, I mean, I, I did all of those things. And uh, basically, it was just in the spirit of exploring and, and wanting to learn uh, how the world around me was, uh, was uh, working. Uh, there was a, a naturalist in Austria by the name of Victor Schauberger. And uh, he wrote a book called Nature uh, Was My Teacher. And, um, you know, this had uh, an impact on me in that uh, if we want to really understand uh, the world around us, we look to God, uh, we look to nature, because that's where we're going to find the answers. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, that, that quickly led me into the field of biomimetics, meaning that if we want to create technology that's good for human beings, that's good for the environment, good for our planet, we want to mimic nature. And that's one of the things that we've done here with LifeWave is we are mimicking the way the human body heals, but it just breaks down over time and the body uses light. So if we can have a technology that works with the body and uses the body's own code and the body's own system, we can have new technology that can provide healing and support healing in a very, very profound way. Was there any particular incident or some thing that happened in your life that really motivated this interest that you have in the body and in healing? Oh, there were many things that happened along the way, many, many things. And, you know, we don't have time for all of them. But I, I would say there was uh, two things that really, really stand out relative to this. Uh, one was uh, when I was about eight years old or so, my parents took me to the laboratory of Thomas Edison. I grew up in New Jersey and uh, Thomas Edison's uh, lab was not too far from where I lived. So we went there, I saw that, and when I came home, I knew that I wanted to be an inventor. And then um, a number of years after that, uh, I was maybe about 15 years old, I was watching the Merv Griffin show and um, there was a, a doctor on uh, Dirk Pearson and um, he wrote a book called Life Extension, which was several hundred pages long. And I sat there and I, I listened to him talking about ways to extend lifespan and keep people younger longer. And uh, so I bought the book, I, run it, I read it front to back many, many times. And I was like, wow, this is what I wanna do. I, I wanna create technology so people can live longer and, uh, and stay younger. Although uh, I have to admit there was some self-preservation there. There was a lot of self-interest and I really didn't want to age. So it probably started with, with, with that. Well, what's of course amazing is that, you know, think about it, you have the skill sets to be able to actually do something to affect your body and help you feel younger next year. You actually were able to go to work on yourself and then think about how you've been able to share this technology with now hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, it is fair to say that we have achieved things in the field of biology, in the field of regeneration that has not been achieved anyplace else. And we have the data to support that. You know, Jim knows a little bit more than uh, the outside world on this. And there's been many times that we have popped the champagne cork uh, because we've <laughs> achieved a first. And uh, we're really looking forward to sharing all of that someday. Uh, you know, at the appropriate time. But uh, yeah, we've, we've really achieved some remarkable, groundbreaking uh, things here relative to uh, anti-aging, age reversal, and uh, regenerative science. You know, Paula, one second. For, sorry. Da David, come a little closer to the microphone. Kind of push your body forward a little bit because there, we have a few comments of folks that are saying they can't hear you as well as they'd like to. Thank so if you come a little closer to the mic, let's go for that. Paula, I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Oh, darn, now I forgot where I was going. 
Oh, oh no. I, well, first of all, I want to say, David, as somebody else who's concerned with vanity, I want to thank you for whatever <laughs> sacrifices you have made. I mean, recently I sent out an email talking about LifeWave products and saying that I had my 69th birthday this year. And wow. I must have had 20 people say, I want to order whatever that stuff is. <laughs> wow. You <laughs> definitely do not look your age. Thank you. Thank I would you not have much. guessed that. And I seriously mean, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was one of the early people, the early adapters, shall we say, who got the X39. And it's amazing. It's just plain amazing. And it's been such a gift for my parents who are in their 90s and who are doing great, thinking clearly, moving easily. It's, it's an amazing product. Awesome. Thank you. I was going to ask you something about how it all began, but I, now I've talked about X39. So what do you think? Do you want to share a little bit about how did LifeWave start? And then maybe we can talk about your big news. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a lot of big news that I want to get into tonight. And, you know, that, um, that is a long story uh, about getting started with it. But just the, uh, the very, very short answer to that is uh, I was developing survival equipment for the Navy. Uh, this is going back into the 90s. And um, I was looking to develop new technology uh, for the crew of people on a mini sub. And the idea is how can we keep them alive longer? Uh, and the crew is gonna, these were Navy SEALs, how can they stay awake uh, for a long time without having to use amphetamines and caffeine? And so I began to do an investigation of what is there a natural way that we can increase energy in the body without having to resort to drugs. And uh, after about three years of research, I uh, came up with the uh, LifeWave, first LifeWave prototype, which was the energy patch. And um, then of course uh, started LifeWave. So uh, it's been an amazing journey, a really, really an amazing life-changing journey. And uh, it, it's, 20 years later now, um, just can't believe where we are and how bright the future is. And, and of course, what's fantastic is that, and, and we've talked about it as a company, you know, we're just getting started. I mean, think about it. What, what, final, what came along in X39 after about what, eight or nine fantastic products, literally was a game changer. And so let's jump into it, David, because you do have some exciting news that you're going to fully unveil in Vegas, but you were, you said, let, let's, let's take a little moment and help people understand what really is happening here with this amazing product in X39. So where do you want to start? Just kind of, you got the floor and kind of take us through it. Yeah. So uh, lots to talk about here. So first thing is, uh, I think what I'd want everyone to know is up to this point, we have completed seven clinical studies on X39. Uh, there are four new clinical studies that are starting, and I think by the time uh, we finish out the year, that we're going to be 15, 16 finished clinical studies. Um, by the way, the legal requirement uh, in the United States is to have two clinical studies. So part of this is, uh, you know, we want to meet our legal burden in marketing products. But the other thing is, the more that we do studies, the more we learn. Uh, the more claims we can make to support our marketing. And then, of course, we can develop new products based on that. And uh, I would say, you know, X39, uh, it, it's probably going to be our superstar product for many, many years to come. But there is new products coming down the road. But, you know, talking about X39 now, uh, we've learned some things this past year uh, that we're going to be sharing in Las Vegas in great detail. Um, that our members don't really know about today. And uh, so it means that, that, that members are getting benefits that they're not even aware of. So let's start to break some of this down. The first thing is uh, we've been working with Dr. Melinda Connor for many years. Uh, and um, Dr. Melinda Connor, as you know, Jim and Paula, uh, she had a just a spectacular uh, presentation last year. So by popular demand, she's coming back to Vegas and she's going to be uh, sharing uh, with our audience a number of the clinical studies she's been doing over the past year. So one of them, uh, which is about 50 people, is a clinical study that's looking at metabolism. 
And one of the things that I would want our members and, and uh, new folks that are uh, joining us today or just recently in LifeWave is that one of the really important things about X39 is that it improves the metabolism in some very, very important ways. So we think about this is, you know, what, what is X39 doing? It's activating the stem cells, uh, but it's so much more than that. Uh, one of the first things that needs to happen in the process of repairing the body is the body has to have energy. And this starts in a place in the cell called the mitochondria. It's like the engine or the powerhouse of the cell. And one of the remarkable things about X39 is that normally as people age, they produce less and less energy. And by the time if anyone that, that's on here that's over the age of 50 and hasn't used our products, they know that. They start, <laughs> <laughs> depending on coffee or, or some type of stimulant, they need to sleep more, they get a lull in the afternoon. And this is all because the area of the cell that makes energy begins to decline in its ability to do that. Well, one of the remarkable things that we've seen in our clinical studies is X39 can reverse that process. Mm. In other words, it gets the cell to produce more energy. And this is why many people, uh, the very first day of using X39, they say, wow, I, you know, I went through the day, I had more energy, I didn't get tired, I, I really feel great. That's what's going on. Uh, and, you know, we've got data to support that from these studies. We also show in this uh, metabolism data, usually when you think about this, when somebody takes caffeine, what happens? They take caffeine, they take a Red Bull, and then they get this zing of energy, and then all of a sudden they crash, right? And, and now they get tired, right? So that's the that's the crash from taking these uh, energy drinks. That doesn't happen with X39. Actually, the opposite happens. So what we saw in our metabolism data is that X39 actually reduces the stress on the cell. So unlike an energy drink, which gives you energy and then you crash, not only does X39 give you energy, but it actually has the opposite effect of caffeine. It will reduce the stress on the cell, that means you get better antioxidant production. And of course, when you have less stress, you don't age as quickly. So those are some of the really exciting things that are coming out of uh, some of these studies. So uh, before I go on to the, the next things, where actually I think are even more exciting, uh, I'll just stop there for just a second. <laughs> well, it is interesting when you talk about, because you know, energy enhancer, right? So that was something that you developed first, and that was focused on this dynamic that you just described. But I think you've told me before that ener the energy enhancer focuses on only a part of the process. Is that correct? So help us understand the difference, between, if you can, between what X39 is doing versus the energy enhancer, for instance. Yeah, yeah. So um, this would get into some of the chemistry and it'd be a little bit technical. Well, but yeah. anyway, to keep things simple, yeah. the, the premise behind energy enhancer was to increase fat burning, which is called beta oxidation in the okay. cell. And you have a number of entry and exit points for uh, energy and energy carrying molecules in the cell. So without, you know, dragging into the details on that, yeah. uh, the way that... Um, uh, X39 is coming at it is from a, a completely different uh, way. Uh, in other words, uh, energy enhancer is telling the cell, hey, uh, I want you to produce more energy and I want you to get that energy from fat, right? And that's great. But what X39 does is X39 goes in and says, hey, what I want you to do is act like you're a younger cell and make energy the way that you did when you were younger. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a completely different way uh, of getting there. And uh, it's a better way because of course, if we can get our cells to act like young, healthy cells. As it turns out, there's a whole host of benefits to doing that. I'd say. Very cool, very cool. All right, I'm on the edge of my seat, David. Let's hear some more of what you're sharing tonight. 
Okay, well, let, let's get to one that uh, we've uh, held off talking to our members about for quite a long time. It's, it's on the uh, playlist. This would be the most popular request. Right? <laughs> That's what that would be in radio terms now. Uh, and that is, well, where is your blood data that you're elevating copper peptide? And we've been withholding that. Uh, because the uh, scientist that's been involved in this wants to publish the data in a uh, very prestigious uh, scientific journal. And uh, so there's some restrictions around how we might do this. So what we decided to do was release the pilot data and we're gonna get the double blind study published. But uh, we've been working on this now for two years. We've spent $50,000 just in developing the testing methods mm. uh, to do this, not only that, that doesn't even include the clinical study costs. So, uh, and that's because there's no place that you can go to, to test for these things. We had to develop our own methodologies with a uh, scientist uh, and pharmacologist. But anyway, um, what we claim is that we elevate copper peptide with X39 but that's only part of the story, as it turns out. There are uh, two different molecules involved. One is called GHK, and the other is called GHKCU. So copper peptide is GHKCU, meaning there's a peptide that attaches to copper. Uh, but there's another peptide called GHK, which is the precursor. Well, anyway, why is this all important? Well, simply, we did uh, blood tests and urine tests, and we found that X39 is elevating both GHK and GHKCU. And the reason why this is important is because GHK has the ability to reset genes in the body to a younger, healthier state. Oh, wow. uh, copper peptide has that ability too, but... Um, anyway, copper peptide has a whole other set of um, health benefits. So we were able to do uh, these new studies and look at exactly what happens right after you place on the X39 patch. What happens in the first 24 hours? What happens in the first week? And we see statistically that there are increases in these peptides just within the very first 24 hours and of course, within the first week of use. Now, the other thing, and you'll have to come to the conference to get the rest of this information because I do want to plug that a little bit, but uh, some of the things that we saw with this were you had people, majority of people were falling in the range of a 40% to 50% increase in this peptide. And this is quite significant. Uh, very we're doing short period in, of time, right? A very short period of time. Oh, 24 hours. Crazy. 24 hours, yeah, to seven days. And this is significant because what we're doing now is we're correlating this to age reversal. So in other words, we're going to say, well, let's say you're 60 and you get this increase in copper peptide. Now you've got the copper peptide of someone in your 30s, right? So we're, we're looking at correlating those two. But the other thing that was super interesting about this is we had people, you put them in what's called the outlier group, but we had people that were actually getting over 300% increases in copper peptide their very first seven days. So, you know, these would be people that, you know, they're starting out over the age of 60, and now all of a sudden they've got the copper peptide levels of a 20-year-old. <laughs> so... Wow. There's some very important things that distinguish these people from the people that hit the averages. And we're going to be talking about that in, uh, in Las Vegas. Well, and, and let me, sorry, Paul, let me just throw something in. So is, is this, are you, are you treading upon new turf? Is this a new, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? Is, has this ever been achieved before? Uh, is this new territory that even the scientists with you working out, well, how do we even measure GHK? I mean, it feels like not too many people have been here before. Is that true? No one's been here before, Jim. Uh, you know, I've had um, a dialogue with Dr. Lauren Picard, the, who discovered uh, copper peptide. Uh, first thing is I say, this man needs a Nobel Prize. You know, I don't say that lightly. 
uh, you know, he's been doing this for 45 years. He's, he's set and established the groundbreaking science uh, by discovering copper peptide and dedicating his life to proving uh, why we should be concerned with this and why everybody should be elevating it. But mm. the tool that Dr. Picard uh, lacked was the ability to keep sustained levels of copper peptide. And that's what we have with the X39. Um, I wasn't going to bring this up tonight. And as you know, this is highly confidential, but we just finished a uh, six month study of X39. And I'm not going to share the results of that uh, because we're not ready to uh, release that yet. But basically, uh, we are showing results from six months of use of X39 that are absolutely extraordinary. So basically, we show the longer that you use it, the better the results that you get. And um, I think that's the most I'd want to say about it now. So yes, because the X39 patch has never been available before. The ability to study the biological effects on the human body over a sustained period of time has never been available before, not even to Dr. Picard. Wow. David, you know, I'm wondering because I think a lot of us who are distributors hear from some people that, whoa, the first day they experience something different with X39, like maybe increased energy. And then for some people, it takes longer, you know? So is there a way to make X39 more efficient by what we eat or how we live or any of that? Or is it just an individual thing because humans are unique? Yeah, so it, Paula, that would be the million dollar question. And we are <laughs> gonna talk about that more in Las Vegas. But the short answer to that is there's going to be a very small group of people um, that, uh, you know, no matter what they do, uh, they may not be able to get the response from X39 that they want. You know, they may have a pre existing condition like uh, heart disease or diabetes that is going to make the results slower than everyone else, right? You can have people that are, are malnourished, they have poor diets, they don't exercise, they don't drink water, uh, and they're not going to get the kind of results out of X39, you know, that they might like. So, yeah, the, the short answer to this is that number one, you have to do the basics, right? You, you have to get seven to eight hours of sleep. You have to be having a diet rich in nutrients. You should be supplementing where you might be deficient, drinking enough water, avoiding things that we all know are bad for us. And then once you have that foundation, uh, then you can expect to use technology like X39 and uh, get a great result with it. Great. Good to know. Yeah. And, and uh, is there more that we will learn tonight? I know the big secrets are being saved for Vegas, and I know right. we want to encourage everybody to be there because we're going to have a great time. But did, or did you want to share anything else before we talk about Vegas? Yeah. The, the last thing that I wanted to share <coughs> this evening uh, had to do with uh, Dr. Chevalier, Oh, yeah. uh, who's going to be one of our guest speakers in Las Vegas. And uh, uh, he's also been doing some very interesting uh, studies with us over the years. Uh, you know, his background is in uh, uh, nuclear fusion research and laser spectroscopy. And he's been uh, in, in biomedical field. He's been looking at how light uh, affects communication system in the body and how the emission of light from the cells change over time and how this is going to change our health. Uh, and um, for those of you that are interested, you can go to the science section of the website and uh, look at uh, one of the studies that he did for us in, in that regard. Well, um, he was very interested in the role that copper peptide uh, plays in cognitive function. So, of course, as we age, we know that most people are going to experience what are, what's called age-related cognitive decline. So the memory begins to fail, the speed of processing begins to fail, people's reaction times begin to get reduced. So why is this all happening? And most importantly, is there anything that we can do about it? So the exciting thing is, again, for anyone over the age of 50, 
uh, and maybe even people over the age of 40, um, you don't have to rely on things like coffee for mental alertness and you don't have to uh, be uh, concerned about and, and feel resolved to declining mental function. There are many, many things that are available. So this started uh, with us about 10 years ago with our carnosine patch. We did a study uh, with Dr. Uh, Tom and Helen Budzinski. Uh, Dr. Budzinski, very, very well-known uh, scientist who came out of uh, Skunk Works, did uh, research for the Department of Defense and uh, DARPA. And uh, he did a study on our carnosine patch. We took uh, people over the age of 60 and we found out that within 30 days, we could reverse the age-related effects of brain decline, cognitive decline. So Dr. Chevalier saw this and he said, well, I'm pretty sure that copper peptide would play a role. And uh, so he uh, set about to do a six week study and the results were nothing short of dramatic. Uh, and he's gonna actually show pictures. I'm not gonna show them tonight. You're gonna have to come to Las Vegas. That's where we're gonna do the revealing of this. But uh, Jim would tell you that um, when I saw these pictures, uh, they were so dramatic, uh, night and day. A anybody that's untrained could see the could see the change. Uh, this is when we added him as a guest speaker. So the bottom line on this is that he'll show these visuals. The changes occur within three weeks. Uh, they're dramatic, and it's great news for all of us that want to hang on to our mental function as we age. Yay! <laughs> Another way you've made me happy tonight, David. <laughs> and, and, and David, think about it. How many times have we heard, if we've heard it 10 times, we've heard it 100 times, people talk about, gee, I seem to focus better with X. Gee, I seem to be more alert. Gee, I, I, I don't seem to have that brain fog. So now, are you, are you saying that we're going to be able to move toward being able to make an actual claim in this arena of brain cognition or function or uh, coherence, you know, this kind of thing? How would you characterize that? Yeah, you know, part of this is going to be a marketing decision. But, uh, you know, as you and I have discussed, I think that's one thing that's going to come out of this. We've done a pilot study. Uh, we had 12 out of 12 people. Uh, that got this result. We got statistical significance, obviously. And, uh, but now we're moving towards a uh, larger study, uh, which will be a double blind placebo controlled study. And uh, we'll want to be making this claim. But uh, yeah, the bottom line is that this is really paving the way for uh, new research in how we can augment brain function. Uh, you know, imagine a future where uh, not only can people hold on to uh, their brain function, you have the brain function you did when you were a kid, but even going beyond that, you know, a lot of people would like to have a photographic memory. A lot of people that are athletes, you know, let's say someone's playing baseball, uh, they would be able to have better reaction time where they can, you know, they're a batter, they can hit a really, really fast ball. Uh, and if someone that's playing tennis, you know, they can react to where a ball is on the court faster. Uh, all of these things now, uh, our research is opening are within the realm of possibility that we can improve the basic way that the brain functions and uh, give people levels of performance uh, that they couldn't experience before. So David, do I understand this correctly? Does this mean that we're all going to be like wine? getting better with time? <laughs> uh, you know, I, what I would say is that's an interesting analogy. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the way that I like to think about it is uh, in the world of age reversal. Go back, imagine, you know, knowing what you know today, but being in the body of a 20 or 30 year old, right? Uh, you know, that I think is what we want to achieve. With age comes wisdom, uh, but it also, you know, normally leads to frailty. So imagine as we, you're, what you said is correct. Imagine as we age, we get to keep everything that we learned. We get to learn from all the mistakes we made, but our, our bodies are intact and uh, we get to live out our life being young, healthy, vital, 
and uh, you know, go on working as long as we want and have the best quality of life possible. So uh, you know, that's what I see with this. This is what we see in the lab. This is what we see in our tests. And uh, that's why it's so exciting. You know, uh, it occurs to me as you were talking about the fact that, you know, take a, 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 a baseball player at home plate and he's watching that ball coming at him at 92, 95 miles an hour. And he's perhaps would have that incremental slight increase in ability to hit that ball. You think about our program that we're going to be announcing soon, David, about for the Olympics, right? And, and providing free X39 and carnosine to any Olympic hopeful, someone who's working to make the team, to be on a national team worldwide. This is a perfect, perfect uh, combo, the carnosine and X39, for exactly what you just described. Imagine athletes being able to perform at a higher level as they head into the Olympics. I mean, it's, it's incredible what you describe when you bring it down to actual day-to-day, moment-to-moment applications of the technology. I'm at bat, I'm about to strike the ball, and I can see it better. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, and you know, that when we're talking about elite level athletes, like Olympic athletes, professional athletes, that of course is going to affect a very, very small percentage of the population. So let's, and it's amazing, but you know, let's talk about everybody else, right? So imagine, you know, you have people, I'm 56 and my athletic performance in the gym far surpasses what I was capable of in my 20s. So to me, it means that as I age, I get to keep the physical performance I had when I was younger and even surpass that if I want to, if I want to train that way. And, uh, you know, you get to keep the strength, stamina, the muscle quality, and uh, you get to have a full, productive, enjoyable life. And so now, you know, if I want to go out with my kids that are 23 and 21, I want to go biking, you know, I want to compete athletically with them, I I can do it. And the next day, I'm not going to be sore, I can recover the way that I did when I was younger. So, uh, you know, this, so this is what I think it means for the average person is that you can continue to uh, enjoy life with your kids, with your grandkids, and, uh, you know, have a great life. Wow, how incredible. So the, the truth now is Benjamin Button, look out because David Schmidt <laughs> has figured out how to make you a reality. <laughs> well, we're working <laughs> on it. We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you so much. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Jim. I well, yeah, no. You so, so you you tonight you're back east somewhere. So uh, get some rest. We'll fire back up tomorrow. Thank you very much for taking the time. I'm sure. Everyone's going to be talking about this particular uh, webcast because we got into areas I don't think that folks have heard before. You know, every time you step up and, and talk about things, David, there's always something. I mean, I'm around you on a day-to-day basis, and I learned something new tonight. So that's what's, <laughs> that's what's really cool is you can never go wrong always making sure you're somewhere to learn more about LifeWave. Like, David, before you go, I want you to tell people why they should be in Las Vegas partially, of course, to get all the details of what you just described. But it's so important for folks to come to the events, isn't it? Oh, it's so important. You know, uh, the difference between the people that go to the events or those are the ones that earn the most money in the industry, right? That's what the statistics show. Uh, It's an opportunity to meet people from all over the world. Uh, People in, you know, some cases, uh, you're doing business with people in your organization and you never met them before and you can meet them face to face and really build those relationships. But, you know, think about it. When you're building a business, uh, you want to associate with people that are successful so you can mimic their success. So we have have people uh, that are there that have earned a fortune in the network marketing industry. And now you have a chance to rub shoulders with these people and they're happy to share the secrets of their success. That's the nature of our, our industry. Uh, you get to meet scientists like Dr. Melinda Connor, Dr. Gaetan Chevalier, and talk to them directly. They're uh, very, very giving and generous with their time and happy to answer questions. And of course, uh, you know we're gonna have other speakers there as well uh, that are gonna teach people that may just be getting started in their own business exactly what they need to do to be successful. Uh, and of course, we're going to have a good time uh, as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, for anyone that's on the fence, they should get to Vegas. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Well, David, thank you very much. You are released, sir. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so okay. much, David. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Jim. Been a pleasure. Thanks for having me. You bet, of course. Well, uh, Paula, you know, uh, you, you got to admit, right? Every time uh, you, you get to hang out with David, it's always interesting, right? It's provocative. It's yeah. funny, right? Yeah. It's just, it's just a good time. We are really uh, lucky. We're blessed to have a, a guy like that at the helm as the CEO. Okay. And, and remember, one last thing to think about, he looks upon himself as an inventor first. And so when you first asked him about that at the start of the show, it was perfect. As he talked about it, as a little, as a little tyke, mm -hmm. playing around, trying to figure out the world. So just perfect, huh? Yes, I think you're, you're either born with a mind that just goes, hey, what's going on and how does it work? You know, or that's not your thing. But in his case, a blessing for all of us is he was very busy from a young age trying to figure out how things work and then how to make them work better in a natural way. Yeah, exactly. The evolution yeah. of life wave. Well, I know it's, we've, we've gone uh, about 40 minutes or so. And by the way, uh, I want to let everybody know attendance increased during that time, got to about 805, 810, 815 people. So thank you very much, everybody, for, for touching base and, 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 and being able to listen in on, on this great life wave now. Before we jump off, a couple of, couple of uh, administrative notes. Uh, our next life wave now is going to be on the 29th of January after Vegas. And we will, in fact, you know, they talk about uh, everything that uh, you know happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, on the 29th, we're going to tell all, right? right? We're blowing the lid off the secrecy. <laughs> exactly. So we'll be sure to, you and I will sit there and kind of help people that weren't able to make it find out what's going on. The other thing we want to announce, be sure to email us at now at lifewave.com, now at lifewave.com. And if you'd like to pick up a free copy of Phil Jones, exactly what to say, then you can, and all you have to do is answer one of these two questions. What's the most interesting thing that's happened to you wearing and using X39? Or what's the most interesting thing that's happened to you being part of LifeWave? Pick one of those two questions, answer it, send it to now at lifewave.com, and we will subjectively go through what undoubtedly will be a couple of hundred emails to see, hey, here are the 10 best. And we'll shoot you a copy of exactly what to say, which by the way, Phil Jones is gonna be in Las Vegas talking about this amazing ability he has to give you, me, us, all of everybody, magic words and phrases that allow you and help you to get exactly what you want. So that is for you, those of you that answer the question, send it on in. And uh, Paula, what else? Is, are we about done here? I was just going to say one thing. For anybody who has not heard Phil before, we interviewed him on the first LifeWave Now show. Check it out because the guy is truly amazing. His presentation is going to be life-changing. And that book I have read, and, and it has very specific, concrete suggestions. It's a no-nonsense book. So there's another great reason to be in Vegas. So everybody should be racing to their computers or when we're done, when we're done, <laughs> race to Expedia or however you book your tickets, call the hotel, get your registration done with LifeWave first because we want to see you there. We want to meet you and we're going to be doing some live streaming so you can get a feeling of what's going on with everybody. So just be there. Come to Vegas, you guys. It's going to be great. We'll have some fun. So uh, I think we've pretty much uh, done our thing. And thank you, everybody, for, for joining us. 29th is the next one. Make your plans for Vegas. And we, of course, will see you at the top. So long for now. Bye. <laughs>